Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Dana here. Uh, today I am back with another cute house mouse card. This stamp also comes from the new winter collection and it's called Knit One. As always, a supply list will be down below with affiliate links to when available. If you do choose to shop through these links, it does help support me and I do greatly appreciate it. Now let's get on to the making. To start off this card, I took a piece of Ranger Heavy Stock in Craft and I stamped out the image in Pinecone ink, heat embossed it in a matte clear embossing powder, and I'm just coloring it in with my Distress watercolor pencils.
For the background of the card, I took this piece of coffee dyed paper that I had in my stash. This is my new obsession. I have been very much so enjoying coffee dyeing paper. I have turned everything into a stencil <laughs> so that I can coffee dye paper. This is actually coffee dyed through a placemat that I had. So yeah, <laughs> you use what you have. <laughs> I cut down that paper to four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I pulled out my decal trimmer. And then of course I pulled out my decal trimmer and cut off a little bit of the edges just to give it that deckled edge. To give the edges a bit more definition, I inked around them with walnut stained distress ink. Then I took my cute little house image and also cut around that with my decal trimmer. And then again, inked around the edges with my walnut stained distress ink. I wanted to add a bit of color, so I took this piece of paper that I had gel printed in some Distress Oxide inks. I believe this was Festive Berries, but I'm not 100% sure. It's one of the pink ones. <laughs> I really need to get all those labeled. <laughs> um, but I cut it out also using my decal trimmer, and I cut it out to four and a quarter by five and a half for an A2 size card. Then I took a piece of scrap heavy stock and that same pine cone ink and I'm inking up the sentiment that comes in that stamp set and I'm just stamping it on the piece of paper and then heat embossing it with the clear embossing powder.
First I cut it out in a strip with my guillotine trimmer. Then I decided I didn't want just the strip sentiment, I wanted it in two pieces, so I'm just cutting the strip apart. And then I inked around those edges as well. Then I decided I wanted to grunge up the pink piece a bit, so I also inked around those edges. I have a thing with white edges. I don't like white edges. <laughs> I don't know what it is. After holding that piece of cardstock against a white card base, I noticed that a little bit of the white would show and I didn't really want the white to show. So I decided to ink the edges of the card base as well. And I just put some old sticky notes on the back just to keep the ink from the back of the card base. Then I adhered all the layers together using my Barely Arts liquid glue. And to finish off the card, I glued on those little sentiment pieces to the right hand side of the card above the cute little mouse. And here's the final card. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, take some time to pamper your inner goddess and I will see you in the next one.